Being a food tech is not all fun and games. Hi, I'm Tani. I'm 25 years old this year and I'm a food technologist. A food technologist ensures that there is safe, sufficient and nutritious food in the future. Most of the time, I spend working in the lab doing research and development of the food product. I will do some planning and gather all the equipment and the ingredients first. I optimize the recipe until it has reached a satisfactory outcome to meet the desired objectives. It could be the new development of food products for our clients to target a specific taste and texture. It could also be the evaluation of new ingredients in a recipe by using the correct processing methods. I will conduct quality testing on the food product. I will test the moisture content. It is important to maintain the quality of the food during the entire shelf life. I will also test the texture profile analysis, whereby we will understand how the food responds in the mouth when consumers consume the food. I will conduct sensory evaluation, whereby all the five sensors come into play and we gain weight. <laughs> I will gather panelists to taste the food that I've produced. Sometimes it may not be very tasty, so we have to sacrifice our taste bud for the sake of making the food better. I also get to take a trip down to the client's factory to ensure that the entire production runs smoothly. Also ensure that the product is at its best quality. I am able to launch food products knowing that there is a benefit behind the food product that I produced. After my O-levels, I went to a local super <laughs> supermarket. <laughs> Hello, I did a diploma in food science and nutrition. After that, I went to a local university to do a degree in food technologies for three years. After I graduated from university, I went on to join a MNC company to work as a food application specialist. After that, I joined Alchemy Food Tech as a food technologist. Many people think that being a food technologist, we are chef, but in fact, we are not. We look at the entire food supply chain, whereby we have to ensure that the food meets food quality standards before the food can be sold to the market. A food tech develops the food and focuses on the ingredient itself. The biochemist will then translate how the food reacts in the body with chemistry. We look into the same food, however, we study the different components of the food. When I go for grocery shopping with my friends and family, I will usually take a long time because I tend to look at the food ingredients at the back of the product and they will ask me whether Oh, is this good or is this bad? Should I buy? Especially my mom. Oh, want to buy this or not? Want to buy this or not? Be creative because you have to think out of the box to come up with solutions and ways to tackle food-related issues. To be independent as well, you have to do a lot of research so that the experiment will meet the project objective. Communicating with my colleagues is key because it is to ensure that we are all on the same page. Whenever I need help, I will seek help from them by asking them a lot of questions. Weighing of each ingredient is very critical. A slight difference in the ingredient will cause a different outcome in the recipe. It is important to have some hands-on skills. You have to have a lot of physical energy because you can be conducting the experiment for the entire day. I advise you to do some research about the food industry because there is a lot of specialization that they can explore such as food processing, food manufacturing or even marketing. There are also a lot of different food categories, meat, confectionery, bakery and also dairy. If you have a passion for food, I'm sure that this food industry is for you. It combines science, technology and food together to make a positive impact to people's lives.